You're listening to the Friday, December 27th edition of the Day Weather Podcast. Thanks for listening. If you're a holiday traveler, we're sticking to our guns and saying that if you need to get some travel done this weekend, do it today. If you're able to do it today, you will avoid most of the bad weather. The bad weather we'll have today will be a very persistent area of fog that has been found over some areas of central, southwest, and south central Wyoming over the last few days, and it's really caused a glaze to form along sections of I-80 between Rollins and Rock Springs, and we'll see that fog around today and tonight in those areas. But the rest of the region's weather for the daylight hours will be good. But once we get to dark and after dark, things begin to change rapidly. We're still looking at the merger of two storms. A storm that brought some stormy weather to Southern California over the last couple of days is going to swing into Arizona Today, getting into southwest Colorado by late afternoon and evening. That storm system is pretty impressive, but on its own, it's a moderate storm, not a big one. But another storm dropping south out of British Columbia and Alberta is going to drag in some cold air. That cold Canadian air put together with the cool, moist, energetic moisture from that Arizona-California storm will end up producing a more significant, more organized, consolidated storm over east-central Colorado, beginning to form late tonight, and will develop rapidly Saturday. Then we'll lift north-northeast into Nebraska and South Dakota and North Dakota by late Saturday night and Sunday. It's going to become a very strong storm very quickly. The extreme eastern and southeastern counties of Wyoming, western Nebraska, A lot of South Dakota and a lot of northeastern Colorado will be impacted by this storm. Probably the biggest and heaviest snows will end up in places like north central Nebraska, central South Dakota into North Dakota in terms of inches of snow. The biggest problem for eastern Wyoming, western Nebraska, northeastern Colorado and northwest Kansas with this storm will be just enough snow with a big drop in temperature and a lot of wind. That's going to be the big problem. It's the combination of the big drop in temperature, the snow and the wind together, that'll make this a nasty storm for travelers. We're expecting 30, 40, maybe even 50 mile per hour wind gusts Saturday afternoon, Saturday night into Sunday with this storm in eastern Wyoming, western Nebraska, northeast Colorado. While snowfall amounts on the plains in those areas I just mentioned are probably going to be around two to six inches of snow with maybe some heavier snow in the northern panhandle of Nebraska and northeastern Colorado. I think two to six inches will cover it. But put 30 to 40 mile per hour winds on top of that with temperatures falling into the teens and you've got a problem. In particular, you'll have problems along Interstate 80 and I-25 in southeastern Wyoming and secondary roads to those interstates. I-80 across Nebraska, all in Nebraska, will be impacted by this storm. A large swath of I-90 across South Dakota will be impacted. I-70 and I-76 in Colorado will be impacted. And we also expect some snow along the Colorado Front Range, especially from about Longmont south to Denver, to the Palmer Divide, then along I-70 out towards Elizabeth, then on the way to Fort Morgan and Sterling, and up into Ogallala and North Platte. All of those areas will be in winter storm conditions, and there's also going to be a little layer of light freezing rain and light freezing drizzle across parts of western and southwest Nebraska and northeast Colorado with a storm and maybe the far eastern counties of Wyoming near to the Nebraska border. So you throw all of that together, it's just going to get nasty. The storm will turn into a juggernaut for the Dakotas, the upper Midwest, and the northern Great Lakes by later in the weekend and into early next week. On the back side of the storm, very cold air will come in and bring us some very cold temperatures for the weekend and into the early portions of next week. A very persistent a consistent pattern of night and morning fog will continue west of the Continental Divide in portions of Wyoming, western Colorado, and northeastern Utah. So be careful out there. Take advantage of the travel conditions today if you can. Stock growers and travelers, watch out for winter storm conditions in those areas I mentioned as we head into the weekend. Have a good weekend. If you're staying at home, good for you. If you have to travel, get it done early. Thanks for listening to the Day Weather Podcast. Talk to you on Monday.